If it starts to do waves, what do you do? That's a little bit like saying, what do you do if your shoulder hurts? There's so many different causes. You just have to stop and think, okay, first of all, I would suspect a dull blade. Maybe you got it in some grit or something that took the edge off of it. And putting on a fresh blade is probably the single thing that'll cure it. Uh, if, if you've been sawing good and it just starts doing it uh, on its own. Uh, if you know the blade is good, the next thing is to check the, your blade guides, make sure that they're not rubbing on it, that they're not offset a little bit. Just use the ceramic guides instead of roller guides. Some people like roller guides. I, once I got used to them, I actually prefer the ceramic guides. Um, but you got to keep an eye on them. Uh, then the other thing is just where it's tracking on the band wheel, and I'll show you that in a couple of minutes. Uh, oddly enough, if you push it too hard, you can cause it to wander, but if you're not pushing fast enough, you can also make it wander because that blade, if you're not pushing hard enough for that blade to be cutting, it'll actually start deviating. So it just takes a while to kind of get a feel for that uh, as well. And as the blade dulls, then you do have to push it a little bit harder to, to keep it working. So those are all things that work together. That they, they've all got to be right. If your mill is level, which it should be, you can put a level on the blade itself be be between the teeth, just a little uh, torpedo bubble level. Uh, and if you can adjust the level of the blade by moving it in and out with your tracking. And what's that? And you got a screw, a bolt on each side that adjusts that. So. So if the, if the blade is too far back, what that's going to do is it's going to angle it down a little bit and it's going to try to dive in the wood. If the blade is tracking too far forward uh, on the band wheels, it's going to actually tip that blade up a little bit and it's going to try to rise in the cut. So that's part of the tweaking I was telling you about. You got to have that blade just absolutely perfectly uh, parallel with the track, with the direction of travel of the, of the mill, if you're gonna get a straight cut. So if you do that, then wherever it rides is the right place. But in general, I've found having it centered is what gives it the best chance of going right.